I'm Clay Tone. I'm one of the founders here at SaaS Optics, and this is Ask Clay Tone Anything. It's a video series where I answer your most pressing SaaS financials and metrics questions. Today we're going to be talking about customer lifetime value, or CLV, or LTV, or CLTV, or any of the other acronyms that people like to throw around for customer lifetime value. We've talked before about CLV in this series, but today we released a calculator resource that helps you calculate your CLV simply by putting in a few, inputting a few numbers on the front, and we'll calculate it for you on the back. If you remember from our last CLV video, customer lifetime value is defined as an estimate of the proje projected total value of a customer over its lifetime. If you want to get really fancy, it's the net present value of the pre-tax contribution of a customer over their lifetime. Now that's all well and good, but if you're anything like me, you probably want to know what goes into the CLV calculations. And we're going to go through that, through that a little bit today. CLV calculations by themselves aren't that complicated, but like most things in SAS accounting and metrics, it's managing the inputs, capturing them, and managing them that makes things difficult. Let's take a look at our calculator and run through a quick example. So I'm excited to show you about customer lifetime value calculator because my favorite metric happens to be customer lifetime value. Now that's kind of a cheat because customer lifetime value, to do it right, you need to have other metrics, you need to get other metrics right and embed them into your calculation here. We're about to see that right now. So let's take a look here. We've got annual churn. This is your annual customer churn rate. So this is your logo churn in, in, in a year. So let's, let's punch in 10%. So we, let's say we have 10% logo churn. We're putting that in here right now. We also have our average, uh, our average ARR per deal. So we're gonna put in here, let's just say 25,000 bucks is our average there are in, an, in, a, in a normal deal. And then yeah, I've got gross margin percent here. Again, just like, like I mentioned, you need to know, it's good to know your churn rate, it's good to know your gross margin, and it's also good to know your discount rate, which we'll talk about in a second. These are all important things for a SaaS business, business to track. So calculating these regularly for your CLV uh, helps keep you buttoned up on the, on the metric side. What's your gross margin percentage? Let's just do something conservative here and just say it's, uh, it's 85%. We'll, make, we'll just make that up. And then what's your monthly discount rate? Now this is very important. This is your cost of capital. So the cost of capital for you, what's the capital, your cost of capital in your business? Don't just use some universal rate or the treasury rate or something like that. What you want to use is what capital costs in your business. So if you don't happen to know that, then just use 10%, but use the monthly version of 10%, which you can see we've already defaulted here for you. So 0 0.00833. And now you can see down here, there's our customer lifetime value. We've calculated that for you here, 210,000, 400, 400 bucks uh, for customer lifetime value with these inputs. Now that's it, beauties. You can find our CLV calculator and other SAS metrics calculators on the, our calculators page under the resources tab on our website. We'll see you next time on the next Ask Clay Tone Anything.